Like a constipated dolphin, okay? <laughs> what was I just doing? <laughs> what was I just doing? Uh, oh, there it is! Ah, ah. Have you been into your dad's medicine? <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun to do that. You just kind of open your mouth and smile. Hey, I'm Jesse, and this is my lovely wife, Seaweed, and we are Tribal Soup Project. Welcome to the first ever episode of Fair Antics, Simple Fair for Simple Folk. This is in spite of the fact that there ain't nothing simple about us. A few months ago, we decided to take the plunge and, and live a healthier lifestyle and lose some weight. We did some research and found that the best thing for us was going to be to just to give up all those delicious carbs. That means no more bread and no more sugar. Not even the sugar which is naturally produced by most of our produce. Now we did run into some unforeseen circumstances and one of those was the, the bad mood, I want sugar now. Which is why we are going to put a multitude of silly antics for your viewing pleasure. And this episode, Seaweed's going to show us her omelet secrets. Ooh. Ah. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? <laughs> a girl, a girl sitting on the couch. And a dog barks out in the night. <coughs> and a dog barks out in the night. Speak, Daisy, speak. This dog is not doing much barking. So the must have ingredients for an omelet are, of course, eggs water, salt and pepper, and cheese. You can also add any other optional stuffing ingredients, bacon, sausage, green peppers, uh, sour cream, anything that has no carbs in it to stuff into your omelet, you can use. But today, I am strictly gonna make cheddar cheese three egg omelet. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break my eggs. Now this brings me to my first omelet tip. Using water instead of milk. The water makes it a little bit fluffier for some reason. It's just, try it. It's an all around better egg. So what I do is I turn my faucet on so I get just a little light trickle. And for each egg, I'm gonna do one swipe underneath the water. So one, two, three, and that is all the water I need. Then I'm going to add my salt and pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And then beat my eggs. And I'm 
I'm ready to go. So now this brings me to my second tip when cooking any kind of egg at all, is to use a extremely liberal amount of butter. I really, I cannot stress this enough. Once I learned that butter was the key of making a really good egg, and it just haven't gone wrong since. So, I'm gonna use about that much butter. And I'm gonna turn my heat on to about medium, medium high setting. Beasts and magical artifacts from cultures and pantheons from around the world. Every culture has evolved its own mythology that defines its character, and they use it as a way to understand the world around them. <laughs> so stick around and learn something new, or remember something you forgot. Hey Jesse, if you were like, a, oh my gosh, I almost died again. If you were a fairy walking down a path, let me see how you would do it. <laughs> He's one of them fairies who, wait, do that again. He's one of them fairies who sneak up on you. <laughs> He's one of them fairies who sneak up on you. Hey guys, well we hope you learned something from today's episode. We also hope that you had a good time watching as well. Please feel free to leave a comment, make a suggestion of something you would like to learn to cook. Um, subscribe to the channel, visit our website, like the video if you liked it. Until next time, guys, happy cooking. Bye. See ya.